Hello, I am Ram Gopal from PresentationProcess.com. In this edition of Practical PowerPoint Animation Series, you will learn how to highlight bullet points in a sequence. The effect you will learn to create today looks like this. Here you have five bullet points and you want to draw the viewer's attention to one bullet point at a time. So I'm going to click first and you have the first point highlighted. And then when I click again, you have the second one coming and then third, fourth and the fifth one. So this helps you to guide your audience's attention to the point that you are elaborating on. Let us see how to create this interesting custom animation from scratch by going to a slide which has these uh, five points because I don't want to create these bullet points from scratch. Let us start by showing the box that highlights the points. So what I'm going to do is to go to Auto Shapes menu. Under Rectangles, I'm going to choose this basic rectangle. And I'm going to draw the rectangle so that the width of the rectangle is slightly longer, is yeah, slightly more than the space occupied by the longest bullet point here. And I'm going to remove the shape fill and have the shape outline as red. If need be, you can have the weight slightly increased, say one and a half points would be a good one. So there we have the basic box that shows, that highlights a bullet point is ready. Now it is time to get it animated. So we go to animations and first we want to open the animation pane so we can clearly follow uh, what I'm doing. First thing is I don't want this box to appear all by itself or I don't want this to be there available on the slide right at the beginning itself. I want it to appear on click. And a simple animation that you can use to make this happen is to use say wipe animation. And it is a good idea to have the wipe animation from left so you can see that this box covers the whole thing. Another interesting thing could be wheel animation. So you can have the whole box appearing uh, as if somebody is drawing the box. So let us keep this one. The next thing we are going to do is to move this from here to here on a click. So I am going to click on this object. And I'm not going to choose any of these things here because that will replace the animation that we have already applied to this one. I'm going to add animation. And let me go to motion paths animation and let me choose the lines. Motion path animation helps you to move an object from one place to another. And this can be very clearly controlled with the end and starting points as shown here. And you can change the direction of the movement either from up to down or from left to right, right to left, up, from down to up, etc. So it's very much possible with all these menu items here which are under effect options. For now, the default option is to go from top to down. So I'm going to retain that one. and. Here the thing is, in PowerPoint 2013, there is a fantastic option which shows you where the end point would be if you were to move this red dot here. So let me show you what I mean by this. I am going to move this red dot and you can see that the box moves along with my cursor and I can very clearly and easily position the box at the point where I really want it to be. And there it is because I am making these small minor adjustments as we move along and that is it. So we have got our first movement here and let us see how this is all going to pan out. I'm going to do the preview here. The first one wheel animation and then on the second click you have it moving to the next point. Now the next thing is to make it move from second to third. Let us see what happens when I add animation like the way that I did earlier and choose the same line animation. If I were to play from the beginning 
you can see that the first and the second are okay but then from the third point onwards it starts at the beginning and then moves to wherever it needs to be so even if i do manage to move the end position for this next animation to precisely where i want it to be i still will have the starting point at the place where it was originally uh, done so i want to change the starting point therefore now what i'm going to do is to increase the zoom so i can very clearly see the place where the starting point is shown with that green dot out there and the place where the end point is shown now the end point can be now moved with lot more precision to make sure that it is straight so i'm going to use uh, a shift button as i move this so it moves straight so this is good enough the next thing is i want to move that green starting point to correspond with the end point of the earlier animation so there it is and i'm going to place it there that's it so you can see if uh, this is in line so this is in line perfect now as to once again reiterate what i have done i have added the motion path animation from top to down i changed the end position to where i want the box to b and then i changed the starting position to correspond with the end position of the previous animation now let us see how this goes i'm going to play here the first one comes with wheel and then on the click it goes to the second and then on click it goes to the third and let me do once more so that you are able to follow what i'm doing here i am going to select this box once again add animation go down to motion paths i'm going to go to select i mean the line animation and i want to move the end position of the fourth point so this animation and then i'm going to change the starting point from the place where it is the green one to where the previous animation ends yeah that is it maybe you can make it move slightly yeah that is good enough and do some minor adjustments so that these ends correspond properly and that is it so let us see in the slide show mode how this whole thing looks first and then on click i go to the second bullet point and then on click i go to the third bullet point and then on click i go to the fourth bullet point now you know sufficient sufficiently to um, do the same thing for the fifth bullet point and so on so that is how we create this animating text sentences this the sequence of animation so that your highlight moves from one bullet point to another now you would have observed that it takes a bit of effort and some skill to make sure that your beginning and end points align beautifully otherwise the whole animation might look very unprofessional to make it easy for you to create professional custom animation we have created some ready made custom animated templates for you i'm going to show you some example templates where we show different variations of highlighting bullet points in sequence and these are all taken from our 630 plus advanced custom animation pack and this is the first example and here you can see three banners sliding down alternatively here we talk about the topic and then we have the first point coming out of that topic and then on the next click you have the second point highlighted and then on the next click you have the third point highlighted let me show you another example this one is about section headers on first click i have the five sections displayed i want some way wherein when i click i want this section to move from here to here so that i can use this page as a section header or i can use this to summarize the points that we have learned from five sections for example now as i click you have the first one going from here to here i can talk about 
the point that we learned from section one then click and then point we learned from section two and by this time the first one would have gone away and the second one would have come along with this and then the third fourth and fifth so those are some of the ways in which you can use this animation template let me show you the final one this is about five points shown with fingers on click you have the first point shown and then on click you have the second point replacing the first one and then on click you have the third one fourth and fifth so this is a very cool way to show five points you need to remember in a given presentation or five summary points or five point agenda etc as we mentioned earlier all these templates were taken from our 630 plus advanced custom animation templates for powerpoint these set of templates make creating professionally animated business slides extremely easy for any busy business presenter you just need to choose a template that matches your thought replace the sample text with your own text and your business slides get ready in no time all the animation will be retained when you replace the standard text with your text creating professional quality business slides has never been easier hope you like the tutorial on highlighting bullet points in sequence if you want to learn more such tutorials if you want to read more articles to improve your presentation skills and powerpoint skills or if you want to watch more videos like the one that you have just seen you can always visit us at presentationprocess.com thanks a lot for watching the video and happy presenting